Thank you because you have, you know, the power of attorney to use the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you because Satan is defeated. Ole Karabagagabotes Kalabrava Lagadiasha Eloso Sopremeleboske. For all the promises of God in Christ, they are yea. All the promises of God in Him, they are amen. Oh, Heko de Bogelia Toleboyakai. Oh, Susan Brafla Gabagadesh Kadila Boske. Imbra Bagadi. E Zuga Braba Gadiba Laboria. Ep is just prayer away. Ele Mole Profla Gabadia. Those that ask, receive it. Those that ask, receive it. In the superior. I want to ask for the help of the Holy Spirit as we pray. For Bible says we do not know how we should pray as we ought to, but the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, help out our infirmities. Give us utterance. Give us the right word to use. Ask Him for grace and help. Anoint me, Holy Ghost. Mazoke provelegadesh, ele tosso que molia bagagada e ando se te 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 e te bos, mangre te le e, o zote malabrof la gabaki ala masca, andu se que poria, ele mago de balia braba gadibia, ontos que baria gabagados que de bos. Thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, ale bos ega de geleske, zumbra paquile bos sute le gade. We give you the glory. Masoka baria baria bahala boske. Janta la bodegele gedeboye. Lord, we give you the praise. Thank you, Jesus. Magra pole bos. Eyele gedege boska. Inga boskute gele puto. Garia mroka bala boske. Hende levele geboske de maliska. Zanta bakuske de branta malaga di boske. Ingra bala bos. Imra paga la bosque, nete le bos. Imra paga la bosque. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your glory. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now, I want to give this prayer point as the Lord impressed upon my heart. The Bible says in James chapter 5, verse 17, that Elias was a man subject to like passion as we have. And he prayed earnestly that it might not rain. And he read not on head by the space of three years and six months. Now, I want you to focus. Now, this man know what he was praying about. The Bible said he prayed that there would be no rain. Now, I want, and of course, the Bible said he prayed again that there should be rain. How many of you here this evening, you know what you want? Let me see your hand up exactly what you want to see. Amen? Amen? Glory to God. That is good. Hallelujah. Because that's the beginning of victory. You know what you want. If you go back and read 1 Kings chapter 18, the Bible says this man prayed and was expecting it to happen. We are going to pray. is a prayer of authority and a prayer of decree. Now, listen. The Bible says if you pray and you do not doubt and you believe, you shall have what you say. If you speak to this mountain, be thou removed. Be that cast to the sea, and you do not doubt, you shall have what you say. How many of you believe because of what Jesus did, because of his sacrificial you know, blood, because of his sacrificial life? How many of you know that everything that we need has already been provided? How many of you know that Jesus paid the price? How many of you know that Jesus paid the price for everything that you need in this life? Okay, great. We are going to pray. I want to make a demand. For that thing that you want to see, that you will testify about. In this month of June. That thing that you know, and you know within you that is covered in the grace. And I'm saying this under prophetic auction. 
as you lift up your voices before the Lord, it shall be done. Now, this is the prayer I want to pray. Now, listen, very carefully. don't say, God, please come and help me. No, no, no. Bible says, Elijah, he prayed that there should be no rain, and there was no rain. Now, I want to speak as a child of God that have authority to speak into that thing you want to see in the name of Jesus and make a demand. Asking means making a demand. To ask means to make a what? A demand. To make a demand regarding a particular situation. To ask heaven to make a release of what you want. I want you to please, I want us to pray. And those of you maybe joining us, also trusting the Lord for that manifestation. God said, this is a moment and time of supernatural intervention. The church pray for release of Peter and God did it. The church pay for supernatural intervention so that Peter will not be killed. And God did it. I want you to please open your mouth as we pray under this atmosphere and make a request, make a decree in the name of Jesus concerning your heartfelt desires. If you don't have anything to pray about, no problem. Just pray for other people. But if there is a singular and a desire in your heart, in this moment and time of divine visitation, O Gibo Kuti Sepro Kabalia, O Magagaba Galabori Ambro Flede Maluto Combo Kete Ye Gedegaleo, Zembro Flesh Kadish, So Kemara Bagalabaya, Bible says, Whatsoever you desire, when you pray, whatsoever you desire is whatsoever. Mala Tonzo Komoke Peria Gadaga. If it's in line with the will of God, it shall be done. Focus in the place of prayer. Set your face like a flint. Set your mind on things above. Begin to think of the promises of God and pray. The will of God is coming to pass in your life. I'm telling you, you will not be disgraced. In the name of in this year of the blessing, the Lord turning things around for you. In this moment of supernatural intervention, Things are falling in place for you. Omega de los soko makaba yaka lo tonda yaka yabagadaya. Agara baba baya. Bible says Elijah, a man of like passion, he prayed that there should be no rain. Eleto makabaria balaka boriam raba laka braya gada lagadia. Speak into the atmosphere. The prophet said, and the cruise of oil shall not run dry. I'm saying the name of Jesus. You will not lose your income. You will not lack for clientele. Speak it. Speak those things that you want to see. Ask God for that thing that you desire. Those that ask, receive. You are a legitimate child of God. Jesus Christ said, it shall come to pass in that day. That whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, it shall be done. O zuprenta ma akogobe le kutu su kabash rato melegevele gelege de gebo le boske ma zambra fala gabaya. Some of you will say, but if God knows that I need these things, God already before I ask, He knows what I need. Yes, He does know, but He still wants you to ask. Why? Because your prayer give Him permission to work on your behalf, give Him a legal ground. To be able to function, if you need change of status, ask him. There is nothing too difficult for God to do. Don't cut down your vision. In this month of June, six. Represent the number of man. Six represent the number of man. The destiny of God for your life as a man, as a brother, as a sister, it will take shape in the name of Jesus. You are not going to repeat cycles. You are not going to repeat cycles. Eratopelea, Rite Molento, Lebo Gelege de Gelescus, Ratoperiam Rova Lagabo, Eto Sotemala Brav Ratoma Calibos. When you ask in the name of Jesus, in according to his will, Bible says, in reality, first John chapter 5, verse 14, Maloto Beria. For this is the confidence that we have in him. When we ask anything according to his will, he hear at us. Yes, yes, yes. Lako Posha. Zoma Lako Entele Totula da Bravadash. Raponte Le Todede. Ukambaya. Zokamba Ragaba. 
O Zende Lekedia, Zento Moleka Baria Baria Kabakoli and the Balakaya. Mazata Malako Poria Brava Galabo, Zele Moto Poriga Brava Galabo, Into Soka Paria, Ekeleba Galabo Galabo. I want you to take it to a new level. I want to contend against any satanic harassment. Any era devil want to bring public disgrace. He don't tap alagish. Every satanic ambushment. Every satanic array of attack against a lie. Bible says, Thus said the Lord. According to Isaiah chapter 7, verse 7, Thus said the Lord, It shall not stand. Neither will it come to pass. Every satanic scheme against your life, against your health, against your, it will not stand. It will not come to pass. Concerning your vision and dreams, concerning your heartfelt expectation, oh my God, take authority as a child of God, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against wicked spirit in heavenly places. Bible says, resist him steadfastly in the faith. Come against spirit of opposition. Come against every spirit of prolonged problem. Every monitoring spirit. You are breaking forth into a new height. You are breaking forth into a new experience. Bible says, in nothing be not be terrified by your adversary. For the part of the toss is like a shining light that shall want to perfect it. You cannot be denied. You cannot be denied. Make a decree. You are a child of God. Use authority in the name of Jesus. Bible say at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow, every tongue must confess. Come against spirit of sickness and disease. Sickness and disease is governed by a force from the pit of hell. Sickness and disease have a spirit behind it. Bind spirit of infirmity. Any spirit that wants to make your life full of pain. Make your life not to be able to enjoy the abundant life in Christ Jesus. Come on, come against it. In the name of Jesus. Cross the root of any pain to die, to wither. You are breaking forth. You are going higher. In the name of Jesus. Decree favor. Decree favor. Bible says, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established unto you. Decree what you want. Speak so that it can be established. Speak so that it can be established. Call yourself fruitful. Call yourself employed. Call your contract established. Call it for speak it. Bible says, for we call those things which be not as though they were. Bible says, who can cause what God has blessed? Who can cause what God has blessed? Who can turn down who God has accepted? Bible says, for you have been accepted in the beloved. Have a righteous indignation. Have a righteous indignation. You are a child of God. You are blessed by God. Established by God. Denounce every satanic blood lies in your life. Denounce it. In the name of Jesus. By the time you come to the end of June, the greed, say with your mouth. Bible says, with the heart man believe, but with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Say with your mouth, in this month of June, I'm breaking forth. For I am a child of God. I'm lifted and anointed. In the name of I will be remembered. Oh, Makabaria, Bakaba, Lakobia. If you are going to stand before any panel, if you are going to stand before any man, Bible said the Lord God has given you wisdom. He has given you a mouth that your adversary cannot gain, say, nor resist. Whatever you say will come to pass. Your words will not fall to the ground. 
Ome Geteki, O Kagapokalea, Malo Comparia Bagalaboria, and Brahata Kalaya. Ome Le Prof and the Gabo, you are found favor with God. You are found favor with God. Mercy triumph over judgment. The blood of Jesus accepted you, qualified you, challenged, justified you in the name of Jesus. The work of your head will not perish. The work of your head will not perish. God will contend with those that contend against you. The Bible says, For it is a right justice for God to judge and to contend with them that trouble at you. On Zute Peria, in Gagaba Lagadia, on Tolem Sentolia, there is no enchantment against your life, there is no divination against your life. Or Bele can do say, and Dalla Bagabagala, boy, and Tolem Sutaya. Your business needs to go to a new level. Speak life to it, speak life to it. Jesus spoke to Lazarus, he said, Lazarus, come out, come forth, speak life to your business, speak life to your potential. Speak life to your family. This family is going to a new level. Our status will change. Speak life to your immigration in you know, status. Speak concerning door of opportunity to come. Bible says, declare thou so that you can be justified. Oh, leke pori hamra bagadibo. Zute mo leke te. Zule makalaba yi alabaya. Ele mo zute malamra baya. Ele topo leke to lakata lakute lakatando. Zema lamro fa luka malapori hamra baya. Eke malabro. Malamale abro. Eke lebo. I want you to begin to invoke God's mercy upon your life. Begin to invoke His mercy. Ele mo zute baria. I invoke God's mercy because of the blood that's been applied. I invoke God's mercy over my life and my family because of the, the blood of Jesus. As we I am favored by God. I speak favor, declare favor, declare mercy, declare favor. As your domelegoria bragababa, favor is God giving you what you do not desire. Declare favor, declare favor, speak favor into your business, into that interview, into that process. A great boss, rent to Call the money to come. Call it for. Call the resources to come. Call it for. Call the employment to come. Call it for. In the name of Jesus. Bible says you shall have what you say. Bible says if you speak to this mountain, speak to that situation, speak to that situation. What you want to see as a final outcome? Or get the motor or Zala Masakadia. Lord, I pray concerning this, my sister. She will become mother of children. I speak concerning this, my brother. I speak concerning his life. He will not die in his pride. I speak concerning any disease, incurable disease in his body. In the name of Jesus, I cause your root to die. If there's any pain, any disease in your body, lay your hands on yourself and speak life. Cause the root of it to die to wither. Speak longevity into your life. Say, I will not die but live. I will live to declare the majesty of God. I will fulfill my assignment. I will fulfill my purpose. I will not be jobless. God has a plan for me. In this Canada, in the name of Jesus, I shall be known to be an impactful person. I am an influencer. In the name, I'm a voice, not an echo. Come on, speak for the blessings and the riches of God. Into your life, but contemplate it. Enter the Makole Baria. Bible says we need to execute judgment upon the unrighteous. I want you to speak against every satanic plot. Just say, Satan, get lost. Sickness, get lost. In this month of June, I bury you into the ocean of forgetfulness. In the name of you, are a forgotten conclusion in my life. Bible says Goliath caused David in the name of his God, and David also caused him in the name of his God. Cause sickness, cause the root to die and to wither. In the name of Jesus, I am a picture of perfect end. In Jesus' mighty name, my body is not a temple to nurture sickness. I carry the life of God. I speak life into my bones, into my veins, into my arteries. In the name of Jesus, my heart functions perfectly. In the name, I will not die suddenly. 
in the name of Jesus, I'm going to laugh at calamity. Oh, Shata Malagada Gaya Korea, into Morocco Bonus and Teleboria. Speak life, speak blessing, speak prophet, pro prosperity, and let's speak to the project to deliver. Speak to the project to deliver. Let's take the last five minutes and just get this thing done. Or get the Letole Gaguda Kabori and Tabala Kuteska Indra Saya, yeah, yeah. Or tell them, son, tell them, Malo Gaboria, Braba Galaboya. Mazanda, I'm telling you, your words will not fall to the ground. Your word will not fall to the ground. This is the year of the blessing. It is the blessing of the Lord that make it rich. And I don't know, in the, you will not look for another man inherit. In the name of Jesus, oh Palaba Yagadagaya. Anywhere you have labored, we make a demand. We make a demand. You have labored as a student. I make a demand. Make a demand. Make a demand. Make a demand. A local Poria. A Tosso Poria. Wherever the soul of your feet are tried upon, Bible says God has given to you as your possession. Canada is your possession. A little bit less of life. You are unmovable. You are unshakable. In the name of Jesus. Oh Gaba Gaba Lagadia. Zonde Maria Braba Galeboye. God will show you mercy. God will honor you. God will favor you. In the name of Jesus. A great total. A gratu bele. No sote baligari ambraba galibo. Oh zente malabravia. We reverse any medical condition that is contrary to your wholeness. We reverse any medical condition that is contrary to God's plan for your life. We reverse any medical condition that is contrary to God's will and God's plan for your life. I pray over every children in the room. Otakata Loto Santa Maria. We speak to all those children. There shall be no genetic mutilation. Save delivery. I speak conception. I command new conception. I bless wombs. I bless loins. Oraduska. I come against the spirit of infertility. In the Sotobe, Levro, Kupa, Lagaba, I bind you. I break your hole in the name of Jesus. Within one minute, I want us to come against a spirit called the spirit of delay. Bible says, A quick walk with the Lord to your righteousness. Bible says, For 40 years, people of Israel, what they're supposed to achieve in 40 days, took them 40 years. We reverse it. We reverse it. This year, in the name of Jesus, your vision is coming to pass. I come against spirit of delay. Spirit that made people to go in cycles. Olanda, Lotonda, Latonde, Lekedegede. Over center of life church. Over lives gathered here this evening. A dozen provalayata sokobra. A quick walk in righteousness. In the month of June. A gulebos. A galagadia. O zone megedeye. Tukabalagaya. O soka laboria, soka malagoboria, anda laboria braba galaboria, agraba galaboria braba galaboria. O zeke de galeke, contend with that spirit. I'm telling you, things are going to happen so fast. Ele do soto lege de gele lege de gele, zundo loto toto tote, tele 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 tu la gabaya. I bind you that foul spirit. Ele toporia, spirit that put roadblocks before people. That make people to exert much energy. Electrosoke mother, it is necessary. We bind you, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Allah Kote Sekoria Azobro Pe Gagagabush Indra Zotelea Mata Makalato Meletele Polokusha Indra Lama Ruko Prove Legadish Rada Bagaga Gaga O Retopolia Zembro Fle Telemosh Rika Braf Lagabadia Nete te 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 liya, magre le brove le gaboske, ekole molo bro, zinta molo brava la goske, ala molo kaboria brava la goske, metu la kabrava la, sule me gedegesh, indo bole bosh, in Jesus, matine we pray, in Jesus matine we pray. We have come to the end of this prayer, like I've said, we believe God, Hallelujah, I said we believe God, please. Pastors, can we just give everybody communion element? 
And I'll tell you what to do with prayer. This month, God will show up big on your behalf. I said, there will be supernatural intervention. You are a child of God. Your destiny is already established. There will be supernatural deliverance. Don't forget the scripture that you read. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. And the prey of the terrible shall be set free. Can I say this to you? The reason why I read that is for you to have this hope in God. Even if you have made any mistake, all mistakes are turned to miracles. Amen. Because mercy triumphs over judgment. The favor of the Lord. Now, listen very carefully. The Bible says, and David went to the temple and he had the shoe bread that only priests should, should eat. He violated protocol and his life was sustained. Why? Because he's walking under the mercy of God. In the new covenant, that is what we are enjoying. Amen? I'm saying to you, even when you have made mistake and you have repented, you say, how would I make this thing happen? The mercy of God will change it. Amen? The mercy of God will write your story. I want everybody to have that, you know, uh, uh, you know, communion element. And why the media projects, again, First Kings chapter 18, you know, verse 46, in uh, message translation. The Holy Ghost impressed this, you know, phrase in my heart as I was studying and praying. Amen. Uh, 18 verse 45. Praise the Lord. Message translation. Everybody say with me, things happen fast. Come on, say, things happen fast. So this man was praying, you know, it was heartfelt prayer. Elijah, we read the story in James chapter 5, verse 17. He kept praying because he believed something must happen. You should not pray if you do not expect something to happen. You're wasting your time. Anytime you come, you expect something to happen. And you don't stop prayer until that thing emerge. That's why people use the phrase or the acronym, pray until what? Something up. You pray because God said it. It's already said to you. You are calling those things which are already done to manifest. Hallelujah. Your job is already done. Everyone here, God have husband and wife for you. God have children that he already apportioned for you. Whatever you want. Whether you want one, three, four, five, God will give it to you. Because Bible said the Lord will give grace and glory. And nothing good. We live with touch from him that walk uprightly. Amen. Whatever you desire from God, he will give it to you. Hallelujah. If it's in line with his will, if it is in line with your destiny, God will not withhold it from you. So the Spirit of the Lord you know, spoke to me and said, say to my people, as they pray, as they believe me, and expect things to happen, things will happen fast. He said, things will happen fast. He said, things will happen fast. It will happen so much. Watch this month. Watch this month. Things will happen so fast. And it's already happening. People have been calling for testimony of the year, some of testimony on Sunday. Things will happen so fast. Things will happen so fast that you'll be asking yourself, this could only have been God. Things will happen so fast that some of you, you will enter into your own house. Yeah. Things will happen so fast that some of you say, no, I don't think I need this 9 to 5 job anymore. Yeah. It will happen so fast because God's going to do a lot of things for you. Things will happen so fast because in your place of work, you are just at one level. Things will happen so fast. Before you know what's happening, you are in charge. Amen. Things will happen so fast that God will orchestrate things in your life that you enter into the job and desire of your heart, the career of your heart. And you, you are just wondering, how did I get here? Come on, say, I believe it. Come on, say, I believe it. And I receive it in the name of Jesus. He said, things happen so fast. And the Lord also said, you know, as you know, I was reading this, I should say this to you before we take this communion. Uh, he said, the sky grew black with wind-driven clouds and then a huge cloud burst of rain with Ahab, I tell it in his chariot for Jezreel. Read verse 46. Amen. Hallelujah. And God strengthened Elijah mightily. Say with me. The Lord, Lord. will strengthen me strengthen mightily. Now, you see, there is, this is what we call supernatural. Some of you, what will happen? Naturally, you cannot do it by yourself. Naturally, you don't know how you are going to make it happen. The Bible says the Lord, the hand of the Lord, if you read King James, the hand of the Lord came upon you. God will get involved in your business. Amen. That is, the natural will become supernatural. Amen. Things will happen so fast that you know that this is not me. From one project to another, from one suggestion to another, from what, you know, problem solving to another. Things will happen so fast. Amen? Amen? And lastly, what the Lord said, I should put 
and shall do is this. Bible says Elijah ran in front of Ahab chariot. Now, human being running faster than chariot. That could only be God. God said, I'm going to give my people speed. Some of you, your contemporaries, listen very carefully to this. Some of your contemporaries that have been ahead of you, God said, I will advance your steps. I will do an amazing thing in your life that you will be able to come and give me all the glory. In the name of Jesus. So three things in that scripture, the Lord in person of my heart, this will happen first. The hand of the Lord will come upon you. And then you are going to attract your contemporaries. Amen. Amen. Come on, say, things will happen fast for me. The hand of the Lord will rest upon me. And I'm going to outrun my competitors in the name of Jesus. So what it means is this. Nobody have heard about your name, your business. have been so quiet. Everything, nothing's happened. All of a sudden, you are the talking point. In your career, I you know everything is quiet. You are doing your best. All of a sudden, talking, everybody's talking about your business, talking about you. Have you heard about those people? Have you heard about these people? And you, the hand of the Lord is going to come upon you because you are going to come up with strategies and things that you have never thought of before. The hand of the Lord is going to come upon you. You are going to do something through God's divine creativity in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, say, I believe it. That is for me. And I receive it in the name of Jesus. Why you have the communion with you? And I'm going to close to the word of blessing. And please don't forget, when we call for prayers again, love it. Because it is not just prayer. It is what? Constant prayer. Persistent prayer. Amen? That keep pushing things forward. Amen? Amen. And when you go home to pray, don't pray casual prayers. Casual prayers, prayer that is full of distraction, does not produce anything. It is heartfelt prayer. It is a heart that... You, prayer that your heart is in it. If it is 30 minutes, let it be you and God. If it is 15 minutes, let it be you and God. Stop all these disrespectful prayer. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Of course, somebody said, does that mean when I'm driving I should not pray? No. Even in your heart when you, are, when you are driving, your heart is communing with God. I'm talking about the position of your heart. I'm talking about the condition of your heart. Praise the Lord. Like I joked, I said, I love to watch the game tonight if I have the opportunity. But when you are praying, you leave that aside. Amen? Amen. And if you are praying for that, you pray with all of your heart. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to believe God for this. Remember, Reverend Victor said something very profound. I don't know if you remember what he said about communion. He said a lot of people, when they come, they say, is it not just bread? Is it not just another one? We do this every time whatever you don't have faith in doesn't work for you. Jesus will always say, let it be unto you what? And faith is a personal thing. Let it be unto you according to... Now, this is a symbol, an element of the body of Jesus that was broken for us and the blood of Jesus that was shed for us. In a nutshell, what this symbolizes is that it is finished. Say it is finished. So when he gave his body and he shed his blood, he ratified the promise. Amen? I remember when somebody wills something to anyone, that will does not go into effect until the person has died. So his death shows that everything that the Father has willed for us now can take effect. So everything is now yours. Now, because this shows that he died, he resurrected, he's now ever living to make an intercession for us. So that symbol is a symbol of completion. And that's why you can say, no, I know I cannot miss my healing. I know that God is on my side. I cannot be defeated. I know that I'm a champion. I'm not a challenger. I know that God is going to turn things around for me. This is a reflection of a finished work. Having prayed, I just want us to wrap it up with faith in what Christ has done. To know that what we have asked, we have received. And what we have you know, asked him to intervene to do, it will surely bring to pass. And so, Father, I thank you for your finished work. Thank you for your body that was broken for us. Your blood that was shed for us. We thank you because it is a done deal. We thank you because we already have the victory. And we have enforced our victory through proclamation, decree, confession of faith, even in prayer today. And so we thank you in the name of Jesus for we know we are healed. We thank you because, Lord God, we are not going to suffer any loss in this church. We thank you, Father, because there shall be no sudden destruction. We thank you in the name of Jesus for our men shall live very old. Our women shall be so fruitful. We thank you, Father, because our children, they are genius. Our children, Lord God, they have witty invention. Lord, we thank you, Father, for we are unstoppable in this church. Lord, we have overcome the wicked one. 
We thank you for that, Lord, because we are the winners. And we are, the con we are more than conquerors. And so, Father, we receive this with thanksgiving. I appreciate what you have done for us. And every prayer request tonight, based on what you have done, we believe, we have received answers to it. Because your blood proved that it is finished. We thank you, Lord, for no one will be disgraced. Thank you, Father, for this the month of testimonies. This month, every household will have a testimony. Your name will be glorified. Devil, I speak as the under shepherd, under the good shepherd, with authority vested upon me. No one that God has given to us in this house shall be lost. No business shall be lost. No life shall be lost. I plead the blood. And we take our place. And we decree with the blessing. As we partake of the communion today, we release our faith in the angelic intervention. Everyone expecting the supernatural in their life to turn things around. We start upon Esther chapter 9. Bible says in that day, when the enemy of the Jews have thought that they have overpowered them, the opposite happened. Lord, I say that the heartfelt desire of your children in this month of June shall come to fruition. Those trusting for the fruit of the womb. This month, supernatural visitation. Supernatural deliverance. Supernatural turnaround. Those trusting God for promotion. New job. New status. Favor with the government. Whatever they desire. Is there anything too difficult for you to do? The Bible said that man upon whose the king leans said, oh no, this can't be. <laughs> the, the prophet said, you will see it. But you're not partaking it. That is, you are going to see the majestic of God, the glory of God. Father, I pray and I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus, the impossible become possible. I decree the impossible become possible. I sanctify the bread and the wine with gratitude, with thanksgiving, we partake of it. And we use it as a point of contact and as a point of reference and to seal our believing. Whatever anybody desire as they give you thanks, Lord, let it be delivered into their hands. Let there be manifestation. And we shall remember today for good that the church of Jesus came together, prayed, petition were made to God in the name of Jesus. And there are answers prayers. Thank Heavenly Father for it. Go ahead and partake of the bread and not the wine and begin to thank God for what you believe you have received. In the name of Jesus, before we close the service. Go ahead and thank God when you partake of the bread and the wine. You don't keep quiet. Why? Because it's the faithfulness of God. Hallelujah. Just go ahead and thank the Lord and give him praise. Give him praise. Thank him for your healing, your deliverance. Thank you because you are made whole. Thank God that you have received the desires of your heart. You are healed in your body. Supernatural open doors. Supernatural visitation. Deliverance. Supernatural hand of God. Help of God. In your life and your circumstances. You will not come short. The name of the Lord shall be glorified in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. We pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Before we go, I just sense this in my heart. You know, look for somebody. Somebody that is very intense and serious. That is very close to you. Now, the Spirit of the Lord just, you know, impressed upon my heart that immediately Job prayed for his brother. The Lord turned his captivity. I want to take your eyes away from yourself right now. I just want to bless that person and pray, you know, for that person. Just find somebody, not children. Somebody that, you know, you know, you know, Children can hold each other. Somebody that you know at least understand what I'm talking about. I just want to bless that person within, you know, a uh, few minutes. Come, son. Come, come here. Okay, Bokabalia. Mangro pole beleske. Nuto pole taya. Come on, go ahead and pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. Sukende lutuski te praflite shalia. Oronto le keriam raba la gadion no kote. Drando skombre fletuno metage. 
Take the last 30 seconds and just pray for that person. Oh, giga rakapa karaka pondeska tuya kabalagadia zuprere te 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 tu scooter ya. I agree with you. Oh, kemba ya skundebe repos kadabalaya ya ondila ya kabunde le kutes ke telebos. Your vision coming to pass. Your expectation coming to pass. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. Unstoppable. Becoming all that God wants you to be. Thank you, Jesus. Give it glory. Give it praise. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. Say with me. Surely. Goodness and mercy. Shall follow me. All the days of my life. Listen. Anytime I say this in church. Don't take this for granted. And don't ever think. That's just another way to close the service. It's a very powerful confession of our faith. Say with me, I will not lack for ability. I will not lack for opportunity. I will never be denied. In the mighty name of Jesus, the number of my days I will fulfill. From the crown of my head down to the source of my fear, I am sickness free. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare as my days are so shall my strength be in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be afflicted. I'm far from oppression. My path is accident free. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will laugh at disaster. In the mighty name of Jesus. My children shall be great. In Jesus name. Amen. We love you. God bless you. Thank you for a good time of prayer. On, on Sunday, we are going to have a glorious worship. Make sure you at least share fellowship with people on your way home. Have a blessed evening in Jesus' name. Amen.